Stretching is important. Starting the vlog off on a little shopping mood. It's summer in New York, which means there are a ton of pop-ups. And there's two that I want to check out. It's Giga Mousse. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a brand that I love that's based in Spain. And the second one is with Jean. I'm pretty sure they're quite close by. There are a few pieces from both brands that I wanted to buy online, but I wanted to try it on in person. I'm actually about to go now during my lunch break. Um, that's kind of like the great thing about freelancing is I can kind of like choose my own schedule only to an extent because obviously there are days where I have calls so that's what we're starting off this vlog with is a little city bop and this is just what i'm wearing a top that i got off of mushinsa it's by the brand hype service i believe it's very like she wanted which means like very like breezy and airy and it's very comfortable and it's like perfect for like a really hot day like today it's like really hot right now um and this skirt is just like the cutest black mini skirt from Giel. It's so soft and it's actually squirt, but I love this. I've been searching for like the perfect black mini skirt for so long now and I discovered this like maybe I think like last October and I love it. It's so good. And for shoes, these are I'm wearing just these clogs from Solomon. Um, Nick actually got me these for part of my birthday gift like two years ago and they are torn up because I've just gone camping in these and I even had to like hike in these twice um, because I forgot my hiking shoes on two trips that we went on so they're really beat but they're really comfortable and I don't know they're a little sporty and I feel like this top is a little sporty so I feel like it kind of works um, and yeah let's go <laughs>
dinner on the rooftop. Yeah. We ordered from my favorite spot. Oh my God. We got a whole ass fish with like spicy bean paste. We had this last time, it was so good. And Don Don noodles, my favorite. And then this is spicy cumin lamb. Yeah, and even this like utensil thing is nice. workout routine a little bit I've like lessened the amount of hot Pilates that I do and I'm trying to do more strength training trying to build my muscles and some running and I'm about to go on a run right now it's a beautiful day in Brooklyn the sun is shining it's hot outside as a fire sign I thrive in the heat so I feel so good right now oh yeah I'm about to go run I'm thinking I'm just gonna do like a mile and a half maybe and I'm gonna do it just around the park because there's a little track. So let's go. in passing maybe that I've been trying to eat more protein etc etc and so he got me like a free trial for factor which is basically I actually remember my brother who was a meathead at one period of his life he used to eat these so I want to share my experience because it's basically a lunch tray and the food is not frozen it's like fresh food and basically it's like a microwavable food and they have a lot of different I guess types of food and this one is a cilantro chicken with brown rice, black beans, and spicy corn. I really like it because the nutrition facts shares everything like the protein. And this one has 42 grams of protein, which is really good. I've been trying to eat at least a minimum of like 100, around 100 grams of protein. And that's a lot for me because I realized that a lot of my meals prior to this journey of like eating more protein and like working out, like not just doing hot Pilates, but like incorporating strength workouts and whatever. Like I'm really trying to build muscle and strength. Prior to me tracking my macros, I just kind of realized my diet, yeah, like was definitely very more like carb focused. It has been about like two weeks since I've been eating more protein and like already I kind of feel a difference in my body. Like I just feel more energetic. I feel stronger. Um, so I'm gonna eat this for lunch. What you do to basically prep it, take the sauce out because obviously you don't want warm sauce. And two minutes. 
And I will say, like, every single thing that I've had so far from Factor, nothing has been, like, bad. Um, some things were a little mm, mid, and some things where I was, like, actually surprised. Like, oh, this is actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share because, yeah. If you're interested in trying, I think it's worth it to try once and see how it fits with like your lifestyle and stuff. Um, like generally, I do wanna like cook more and like meal prep. So I think this was just kind of a good way for me to like get the hang of eating more protein and kind of like gauge like, you know, what kind of foods to focus on, all that. So that's what I've been doing. Um, and I don't know, like, like I feel like, I mean, it's definitely BB but like i feel i feel good but basically this is what it looks like um sometimes what i like to do for like extra protein is put some cottage cheese like as sauce because sometimes like it does so some of the food can taste like a little bit bland when i'm nearing the end of this bucket of cottage cheese i'm just gonna kill it Cottage cheese is basically a condiment at this point. <clears throat> Let's try the corn. Mm. Oh, it's actually really good. The chicken's actually like pretty juicy and tender. Mm. Good morning. I just got down with a hot yoga scope class and that was so hard because it was especially hard. <laughs> it was harder than normal because I'm about to start my period. I'm basically in the phase of the cycle where I feel very lethargic and weak. So I usually tend to, when I feel like this, I usually tend to treat myself a little bit more. So I got a little fun little coffee. Okay, we're doing this angle because there's people and I still get shy about filming. Um, but today I'm gonna I actually have a hair appointment because my roots are horrific and I don't know if you can tell right now but I woke up with like bumps around my eye I think it's just so irritated because I've been itching my or scratching my eye so much because of all the pollen and the allergies have been killing me this year it's like the worst it's ever been I don't know if it's like with age or just I know your allergies can change and the severity of it can change throughout the years uh, I'm struggling. I just showered and you know how I'm trying to eat more protein. This is my breakfast. Got a little scrambled eggs with a ton of egg whites, like a potato thingamajig, and a chicken sausage. And I'm to eat this really quickly and then have to get ready to go to the hair salon. Oh frick, I forgot to charge my laptop and that's unfortunate because I was planning on working while I'm getting my hair done. I should use a fork. <laughs> One thing about me is I am a forever ketchup girly. I know it's all sugar, but I don't care. Alright, so I'm almost at the hair salon. I don't know why. Please let me know if you can relate to this. But it's gotten a little bit better. But before, like growing up, I was always so anxious to go to the hair salon because I'm always scared that like the stylist would judge my hair. <laughs> I don't know. It's such a silly fear now that I think about it. But it's gotten a lot better. But there are times that I go to the salon now where I kind of still feel a little bit anxious. But
Blake and I had the other night <clears throat> from Breeze. Literally my favorite spots to get Asian food. We got some Don Don noodles. They're a little soggy at this point, but I low-key strangely like soggy noodles. I have some of the spicy cumin lamb. This stuff is so spicy. It's like I need rice with it. This is like, I think this is even spicier than Shan foods. So I have like a little bit of leftover rice. I'm just gonna kill this. A little um, protein bar to eat while I was getting my hair done. But... It wasn't enough. I've just been eating so much more lately. I think it's from like lifting weights, I'm not sure. But my stomach has definitely expanded, which I'm really happy about because I did lose a lot more weight when I was sick in Japan and I was trying to gain that weight back. And I feel like I've definitely gained that weight back and then some.